How'd you get the name Butter? Um, that's my nickname. Life from family. Since a kid? Or since you were working the street? Since I was a kid. Yeah. All right, Butter, where, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? Um, I grew up in like Carson, California. And then as I grew older, I moved to Inglewood, California. And uh, tell me about your, your family growing up. You had both your parents? Yeah, I was with my mom growing up. My mom and my dad separated, but it's like, you know, my mom was a good mom. She did everything she could. She was a stripper for like 20 years, so. How was your childhood? Any abuse, any traumatic events, anything like that? Uh, no child abuse and like, no, like, at the end of the day when my grandma and grandpa died, that's when life like really got hard for my mama. Cause like she was adopted and stuff. So at the end of the day, that's like the most traumatic thing that happened when my grandparents died. So. And how far did you go to school? Um, I made it to the 11th grade. Well, I made it to the 12th, but I ended up going to jail and I never like completed it. And you started working the street at what age? At 15. 15? Yeah. How'd you do that? Um, you meet somebody? I, yeah, I met some guy and basically like, he just was taking care of me. Like what I thought he was taking care of me, like grooming me. And he took me to the nail shop at seven and he took me to a place and he was like, God, you need to get out and make some money to prove that you care for me. And that's like where it all went down. So he was oper operating basically as a pimp? Yeah. Or a boyfriend hustler? Well, he was my boyfriend, I thought. Like, he was my nigga because I was like 15, not even about to be 16. So I was just experiencing guys. So, yeah. Do you remember your very first time picking up a trick? Huh? Do you remember your very first time picking up a, a, a John? Yeah, when that, when I was down for him. Mm -hmm. Who was your first customer? I went to jail my first time. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Dead ass serious. It was a cop? He yeah, was undercover. Oh, wow. On the over there. And are, are drugs a part of your life? Um, yeah, we. And I used else? to do cocaine. Nothing else? No. You sure? I'm positive. And uh, today you're working on your own or with a, with a. Today I'm working on my own. You are? Yeah. And how is that? It's, it's okay working on your own because like at the end of the day you could see more of your money and you could benefit off of it more if you just do the right thing. But right now for me, it's been hard because I just left a situation with a pimp. So I'm just starting over. Right. What are the advantages or disadvantages of, of both? The advantages are they are, the pimp's gonna always be on call when you need him and he's gonna take you to the money. And the disadvantages is nothing that you have or you worked for, or you sold your pussy for, or you sucked dick for is yours. You don't get to keep none of it. When you leave, you're gonna leave with a jacket and maybe the shoes on your feet. And if you get lucky, the wig on your head. So it's the advantages and disadvantages. And doing it on your own, you get to keep your money. You do get to keep your money, but at the end of the day, like I have reckless spending problems. Like. I don't know how to manage my money, so I'm, I could I could own the house already, but I'm like trying to live like I'm rich. Do you have a boyfriend now? No, no, I don't. It's hard to have a boyfriend doing this kind of work, right? Yeah, like someone who takes me serious. Yeah. Very few guys will put up with a girl that's doing this kind of work, right? You're right. I've only had one serious relationship. And how'd that go? It went good, you know, it ran its course, and um, it's actually my baby's father, so. He's in jail. He's in jail? Yeah. And do you have kids? Yeah, I have one child. And are you raising him or her? Um, yeah, I'm raising her along with my family. What, what emotions does this lifestyle bring up for you? Um... For me, it makes me like lonely and it just makes me like kind of not I gonna say heartless because I wear my feelings on, on my sleeve, but it makes me just not pay attention. It makes me aware. It makes me feel like this shit is OK. And I know it's really not. So deep down, you know that this is probably not the best lifestyle for you. Yeah. But there's no other options for you. Is that what you feel? I feel like this is the best thing I'm good at.
Have you had bad experiences out there doing it? Yeah, I've had quite a few. What kind of stuff has happened? Well, um, I've never got raped before by a guy, like a trick or anything, a John or whatever you call him. But at the end of the day, like, I've got robbed at gunpoint while doing the job. Or I've had guys, like, you date black guys, but you're not supposed to. And then they give you the money, the 100 or 150 or 200. And then if one thing don't go right, they want to take your money. And then it's like what I worked for. For one, I worked for it. And then for two, now I done told this pimp that I'm paying that I got this amount of money. And I don't have nothing to show for the amount of time that I was with the, the John. So it's like... So the, that's a bad experience. The pimps you've had have advised you not to go with black guys? Not all of them, but you could, like most of them have, like, yeah. Yeah. What's the hardest part of doing this kind of work? Being away from my baby. Yeah. What mistakes have you learned from in doing this? Are the things you've learned that, like, oh my, I, I wish I knew that earlier on? I'm still learning, but at the end of the day, I just wish I learned, learned sooner. Like, basically just not to trust people. And I already knew that, but I could see, so I see, I was seeing stuff before it be, like, even happening, and then um, I'd be in a situation that I didn't want to be in, so. How old are you now? 27. 27. What was the best time of your life? Um, the best time of my life was November 19th when I had my baby. <laughs> It's always every every mother's yes, answer is the same. I was to have my daughter on my birthday on December nineteenth, but I had her a month early on November nineteenth, and she was still healthy and everything. So it's a blessing. What do you think the most misunderstood thing is about about, girl, me? about girls that do this kind of work? Oh, uh, um, or about you? What, what is about you? The most misunderstood misunderstood thing about me is that people just think that like. I think I'm all that, and they think that, that, I don't know, the most misunderstood thing is like, I don't know, I guess I, I don't try to portray to be perfect, but I just love myself, and I take myself into consideration, and it's like, people be hating me, and like, they don't be liking me or treating me how I treat them, because I'll give to like a lot of people, but people like be trying to step on me, or like they think I'm weak or something. Like You, you, under, you understand that 99% of hate is, is just envy. Yeah, but we talked about that before you. we started. Yeah. So yeah. And what's been the worst time of your life? Um, the worst time of my life was when my baby daddy went to jail in in, in July of 2016, when they the feds came and knocked on the door and like ransacked the house and everything and all that. And my baby was three years old at the time, so I became a single mother in that instant. How do you think working this kind of life, doing this kind of work has changed you? It's made me very blunt and like sometimes I don't take people feelings into consideration and I'll be self-centered. Like, yeah. You, you can see that this life is crazy, right? It's a, it's a, it's a yeah. very dangerous lifestyle for a girl, exactly. right? It is, and I'm not just saying that to agree. Like, yes, it is, because I'm living it. Do you think it builds your self-esteem or undermines it or does both? Um, it just depends on who you surround yourself with. If you're weak and you surround yourself around a pimp or something that's going to pull you down and tear you down, that's what it's going to be. But I don't know. It's hard to answer. Yeah. Do you still believe in love? No. Uh-uh. I know I'd be falling in love fast, but it's less. It's not love. Yeah. Mm. I don't believe in love. Period. What kind of things does a girl need to know before she gets into this kind of life? What, what would you advise a young girl who's thinking about it? Just um, don't pay no guy if you want to get into it or whatever. If you want to get into it, don't get into it. Like, you know, I don't even promote it to dead ass series. Like, it's different shows for different folks. Like me, I'm just a regular, I'm a woman, but I'm trying to like get some money and I've been knowing how to do it. So at the end of the day, money attracts me. So I don't, I don't know, but it's different shows for different folks. Do you think you're addicted to it? Um, 
Yeah, probably, because I'd be like, if I'm bored, I'm like, I'm about to go here, like, you know? And like, who just goes to hang out on the blade, but I'm not hanging out, like, I'd be really it is, I don't want some money. So it's just thirsty, like, but it ain't thirsty, I'm thirsty for money. Yeah, it makes it hard to get out. Yeah, it's, I, want, I see myself as being, uh, like, not a millionaire, or like, or like, you know, the thing that's under a millionaire, like, I see myself having a lot of things in, like, I have had things, so I don't know. I want to have better for myself and for my daughter. Yeah. Do you, do you get, ris you know, risky things that the guys, the Johns want to do with you? All the time with no condoms and I'm not doing that. But you, like, it's fetishes and all that. And I could be doing that shit, but no. I'm not sucking dick with no condom, risking. You could get herpes on your lip from sucking dick putting the condom on it with your mouth, trying to be cute. So, excuse me. And what's, just, what's the most important lesson you've learned? Just be aware of the guy that you're dating. And like, you don't need to have like no home girls in the game because these bitches ain't your friends, basically. All right, Butter. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. Hope you're Hope you get to spend as much time as you need to with your daughter. Okay, and I appreciate you for even taking your time out your day to interview me and talk to me. Oh, thank you. I love hearing your stories. I hope it's genuine, because, like, I got enough going on. Yeah, no, it's always nice when somebody's honest and open. and. Yeah, I w and I really was, for real. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, darling. Thank you.